Hello guys, KP Shamino here with a new video for Fishing Planet. And in this video, I'm going to give you guys my optimized uh, best money farm in the game with high level gear. Uh, so I changed a lot of stuff in it. And uh, yeah, it works really well. So I think I cannot do it better. You guys can see at the end of the video, I will, will fill my 500 kilogram net in uh, a little bit under 30 minutes. So you guys can see that's 80,000 with premium. Uh, so it goes really fast and uh, it works really well. So I'm going to give you guys an overview because I'm now using the high level gear. Uh, so it's a lot better, I need to say, because you guys already can see the crap works for the white sturgeon. It works really well for the white sturgeon. Uh, the spawn sack still works too. So guys that are low level, you can use a spawn sack. But of course you need to go with lower gear. And the muscle meat works really well too. So that are the three that I'm using uh, in uh, in uh, yeah for this uh, sturgeon fishing. Uh, so you guys can see it. I'm first going to start with the information that you see see on the the screen. So first of all, I got now two spots. That's a beaver dam, and that's an old spot that I know already for a long time. But it's only one place, but you can get four sturgeons on that place. So I rotate between them. It's still the same like in the past. So they respawn at one hour and a half. Sometimes it's one hour too, but I think it works like this. You got on a spot like four sturgeons. If you get two of them and then you forward the time, you get the other two. But I'm fishing with four rods and if you fish it out, it's done for one and a half hour. So spot one, I fish from 9 to 11 p.m. Then to 1 a.m., 3 a.m. and 4.30 a.m. Why 4, 4.30? Uh, because I saw the moment that it's after 4 o'clock that they bite really well. So I want to put it in it. And otherwise, uh, you're going to have some downtime. Because the main problem is if you go from 3 to 5, it's done. You will get a cool down because we are fishing at the night. Uh, so to prevent that we got a cool down. Spot 2 is from 9 to 11. Uh, from 9 p.m. 11 p.m. Then 1 a.m. and then 4 a.m. So the last time that you go to spot 2 you need to forward the time to 4 a.m. And that's how you need to do it. But everything is clear in, in the fishing. You guys see it uh, uh, if you go further in the video. So in spot 1 you got one spot. In spot 2, you got two, 4 spots. So, uh, spot 1, the f 1 spot, just throw all the rods at the same spot. You will catch maximum 4 sturgeons. Spot 2, you can get 2 sturgeons for every spot. It's not always the case. But be sure that you got at least... Uh, yeah, 2 times that you got a rod out on a spot. I will show you guys it a little bit later. So you can get in the best case scenario, you can get with one rotation, you can get 12 sturgeons. I never did it. The maximum was 7 or 8, but it's possible. I think if you got very good RNG, it's possible. But it's if you got 7, 8 every rotation, uh, you will be okay. Then the spawn time is still one and a half hour in game. Uh, if you fish on a spot and... Uh, you got, for example, spot number one, you got two sturgeons. And you still got uh, your rods out. Because always throw your rods back in the water. Uh, always got four rods out, even if you got already a fish with them. Uh, wait 10, 15 minutes in game and then just go. How do you reset really fast your rod stands? You just enter the boat. So if you enter the boat, rod stand is resetted. It's going to speed up the process uh, really hard and you will see me doing it too the whole time don't fish uh, at the same spot as forward time what do i mean with it for example so you are on spot number two and you will forward the time don't start fishing on spot number two because that's the last one that you fished on so always go back to the first spot because the downtime for the spawn is a lot bigger there. It's 15, 20 minutes in game, but sometimes it can matter. So that's it a little bit, guys. I know it's not so easy for guys that are new, but therefore I put 30 minutes from start until end, how I did it, and you guys will see it. Uh, and then you will think, ah, yeah, that's what he, he was doing. So now I'm going to do the text away. 
so and i'm going to show you guys my setups because i went with the very big setups now the biggest setups that you can have be sure that you know what you are doing because if you don't know what you are doing you break your rod because i went maximum so it's four times the same setup that I use. It's the, the best that I can do. Uh, so you got Heavy Chaser 310. That's 27 kilogram. That's the biggest bottom rod that you can buy. Then the Excel Spinner 6000. He got, uh, that's the, the biggest reel with the maximum drag. And he got a lot of, uh, how can I say it? Uh, he's divided with a lot of drag settings. And that's always good because if you only got six, uh, you you always need to calculate 29 divided by 6 and that's the amount of uh, strength that you lose but if you got 10 the strength for each drag is a lot less therefore I took this one the main problem with this one is that it doesn't have a lot of uh, line on the spool so uh, this is a bug because I had this on my previous one the Levetian and I just put this one on and I still got 133 uh, but it's 66 that it can only hold, but that's more than enough. Uh, so I'm going with fluoro 0.75, that's 27.5 kilograms. You guys can already see this goes over my rod, but you will not break it. Uh, so you will. I tested it, it will do some damage on your rod, a little bit more than normal. But I'm using the maximum capacity of every piece of the setup. Uh, I need to use a leader too. Don't ask me why, because they introduced it. You cannot get a setup anymore without a leader. 27.5 again, fluorocarbon, a hook 4.0, and here I'm using crab. All the other setups are just the same. So here I'm using crab meat, uh, here I'm using crab again, and here I'm using spawn sack. But if it depends on me, spawn sack works really well, but I got the impression that crab works a lot better. All the biggest fish are caught with crab or mussel meat. Of course, I got uh, on two rods crab, but if you see, spawn sack was only five. Five that I got of the 28, and uh, that's not one fourth. Uh, it's a lot less. So uh, it's almost one fourth, but. Uh, yeah, I need to have two more, but yeah, it can be just a little bit luck to RNG. Uh, but that's what I do, guys. So now it's time to explain you guys the spot. So first of all, we are going to spot number one. Uh, so that's the one that I'm going to start. So where is spot number one? So you guys see over here the dock. So uh, you just take your boat and you come here to the left. I will give you guys the coordinates uh, too. And I need to put it back on Azerti. So let's do the coordinates. So here you can see it's the 97 minus 94. So what you need to do is you just park your rod pot over here. Let's get the... Let's get the rods out. Okay, so what you need to do is with uh, with uh, with the rod pot, be sure that you put him as close as possible that you can put him to the marker. So because we are going to lift the sturgeon out of the water, so you guys can see it. This is perfect. You put it on, then you just throw your rods uh, out, and then you just need to strike. Uh, you can. If you got a bite on one rod and then you got a bite on the other one, you can put it back in the rod pot. But be sure that you always got uh, tension on your line. You can see it. If you see on one of the, the rods that the tension goes really quick down, you need to switch again. I lost one fish in the video, uh, the catching video, a little bit later in the, in the game. But normally you're going to lose a little bit more because it's not very accurate, but you can uh, just get like three sturgeon on, just reel them in, but always watch the line. So that's spot number one. And what you do is you get one or four sturgeons on this uh, position. Then you go to the boat and check this. The rod bot is resetted. So therefore I set it to you guys. Then you need to go to the other spot and that's a spot that all the, 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 yeah, where the most people are fishing, you go here. Oh fuck, did I do this? Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. 
Oké, okay. so je komt over hier en I'm going to explain to you guys first where you need to put the rot pot. So you need to put it over hier. Why? Because we need to fish left and straight. So here you got four spots and every spot can produce every one and a half hour two sturgeons. So where is the first spot? Is over, uh, yeah, there. So I will put uh, a marker. Here is the first spot. Then here is the second spot. Here is the third spot. And here is the fourth spot. So what I do is I throw one rod here. One rod. Uh, you know what? I will do it for you guys. So this is what I do. I'm not expecting a bite. It's possible that we get a bite. So one you throw over here. Then you take the second one over here. Then, uh, no, that's not good. Then the... Here we do the third one. And then the last one I throw back at spot number one. Because I got the impression that spot number one here is a little bit better. So here you go. And most of the time you get a bite now on rod number one. Then on rod number two. And uh, yeah, throw it back on a spot that, uh, that, uh, that you didn't fish yet. So if, you got, if I got now on rod number one a fish... I need to throw it at the second spot here. Because here I don't have a rot at the moment. And so on and so on. Until you did all the, the rotation on all the spots. And uh, you will see it right away. It will go down. And then it's time to reset again. How do you reset again? Very easy. You click here. You do this. You go to the boat. You go back. You enter the boat. And on this moment, you guys will see that my rod pot is back resetted and I can go back to spot number one. And I need to show you guys to end the video and then you guys can see how you need to do it. Uh, I can show you guys the positions so that you know the coordinates. So let me have a look. I think it's this one. Uh, is it this one? No. So this is spot number one. I need, I'm going to look, is it for sure? It's the white crappy one. So the white crappy is a small one here in front of me. This one. And this one. Because there is, wait, I'm going to park myself a little bit better that you guys can see it better because I'm not sure it's that one. So if this is in front of me, it's this one, guys. So I thought it was not the right one. Yeah. Because there is at the right, I got a marker too. So, this is the first marker. So, you guys can see it. Minus 8, minus 36. But it doesn't matter a lot. If you are a little bit at the right or the left, it does not matter that much. Because the spawn points are a little bit bigger than in the past. And then you got this one. I even called it number 3. That's good. So, that's minus 44, minus 42. Then you got this one, minus 48, minus 33. Uh, then you got this one, minus 52, minus 28. So that's how you need to do it, guys. Uh, I think it's now the best that I can do. So I can fill uh, yeah, net of 500 kilograms in 27 minutes. And uh, I think it cannot go better. So it's a lot of money that you can make. I can make... Uh, like 150,000 currency with premium every real time hour. So that's a lot of money. And uh, yeah, I think that's the best that I can do. And you don't need to use baitcoins to forward the time. You, you need to adapt a little bit because you need to travel. But yeah, it's how it is. I cannot do a lot about it. So thanks for watching, guys. Have fun with the money farm. Be sure that you got enough money because I think the Amazon... Uh, is uh, we are going to get new gear. I hope this week to get an invite. Uh, I talked with Killer Whale about it. He said maybe this week I can get an invite in the beta. So they are going to get uh, the, the, the closed beta this week, maybe or next week. And then normally I think a couple of weeks and then it will be done normally. But yeah, we will see how it goes. 
if I got access, you guys are the first one to show it because I'm a little bit excited. I think it's going to be one of the best uh, areas that we can fish. And uh, yeah, new gear, we can level again. I think 14 or 18 new species and I expect them to be very big. So thanks for watching guys. Have fun with the 30 minutes uh, practical side of this uh, video. Bye bye.